Now what about converting a decimal into a fraction? How can we do that? Notice that we have one digit to the right of the decimal. It's in the tenths place. What you want to do is put it over one and multiply the top and the bottom by ten. If there's two digits, use a hundred. For three, use a thousand. Now 0.3 times 10 is basically equal to 3. You just got to move the decimal point in one unit to the right. 1 times 10 is 10. So 0.3 is the same as 3 over 10. That's how you can convert it into a fraction. Let's try another example. 0.36. Go ahead and convert that into a fraction. So notice that we have two digits to the right of the decimal point. So in this case, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 100. 0.36 times 100 is 36. 1 times 100 is 100. And now let's reduce it. And both numbers are divisible by 4. 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. 100 divided by 4 is 25. So 0.36 is 9 over 25 as a fraction. Now what about 3.75? Let's try that. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply it by 100 over 100. And this will give us 375 over 100. Now both numbers are divisible by 5. Anytime a number ends in 5 or 0, it's divisible by 5. So let's divide each by 5. 375 divided by 5 is 75. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. So now notice that we can divide it by 5 again. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 75 divided by 5 is 15. So the final answer is 15 divided by 4. That's equal to 3.75. And let's try one more example. Let's convert 0.284 into a fraction. So because we have three numbers to the right of the decimal point, we're going to multiply by 1,000 over 1,000. Point 0.284 times 1,000 is 284. And 1 times 1,000 is simply 1,000. Now both numbers are even, so we can divide by 2. Half of 2 is 1, half of 8 is 4, half of 4 is 2. Half of 1,000 is 500. So we still have even numbers, we can divide it again by 2. Half of 14 is 7, half of 2 is 1, so half of 142 is 71. Half of 500 is 250. And at this point, we can't reduce it any further. 71 is not divisible by 2 or 3. And so that's the answer. It's 71 over 250.